Alright, so good morning everyone. Welcome back to another sunny day here in Cyprus. Unfortunately, the the nights haven't been as favourable for Astro, but uh, I did manage a, a few hours a couple of nights ago on the Wizard Nebula, so I'll just pop that picture up on the screen now. But I will go back and have a play around again with that one and uh, grab more data and do it again. Uh, it was just a very quick opportunity while the uh, the clouds had broken. Uh, as I say, we haven't had a lot of clouds, uh, sorry, clear nights uh, since I've been home. So anyway, we're sat here at the dome and uh, as we're heading into winter, we're getting get more and more rain as usual. And one of the issues that's um, common on the, the next dome is the door seal. So it's got a rubber uh, seal that uh, clips onto the frame uh, of the door. And uh, unfortunately at the top and the corners in particular, uh, with the way do the door seal bends, it, it tends to want to fold in and this leaves a big open hole uh, that water can get in. Now a lot of people with next domes have been putting awnings and things like that over the top uh, to try and mitigate the amount of water that's actually going deeper into the, the observatory. Obviously a lot of it can run down the door and that's fine out the bottom again, but when it starts to go in because of a big opening, uh, it goes all over the floor uh, at the entrance to the dome. So one of my viewers, uh, I can't remember is who it was, unfortunately, I can't find the original message, uh, but he sent me a message anyway, um, uh, about so six, eight weeks ago, I can't remember now, that's why I can't find it. Uh, I can't even remember which uh, platform he sent the message on. But uh, one thing that they'd uh, come up with is to actually remove the door seal and run a pipe down the inside of the dome. Uh, sorry, around the inside of the seal and this helps to form the corner and keep it more in contact and more closed uh, with the door. So that is what I'm going to do to try today. So I've got this pipe here which is a, a typical plastic PVC or whatever it is, um, food grade something blah 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 uh, that I picked up in the local DIY store. Uh, unfortunately this was really the only one of a suitable size that I could get and um, the only other ones they had were the big uh, three-quarter or inch uh, pipes and unfortunately I don't think they will fit down there no matter how much effort I was to put into it so I thought well I'll try this one first and uh, see how I got on but the the guy that did send me the messages I think he said he used five eighths inch uh, pipe and then just helped tease it in using a, a bit of lube uh, fairy liquid or whatever you want uh, to try and uh, ease it in. So I'm going to uh, try with this first and see how we get on. Failing that, I think I do have a roll of uh, irrigation pipe, I think that's 16 millimeters, uh, that I can always uh, try and see if that uh, goes down inside the, the seal, but I'll have to go and dig out and give it a clean. I think it's buried in the garden somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off the door seal thread this through and uh, see if it makes uh, a difference particularly up in the upper corners. So if I go and close the door of the door you'll see exactly what I mean. So this is the door in its closed uh, state and you can see there's big openings where the water can just quite happily get in. Now it doesn't help that the door actually sits down a little bit. I need to put a somewhere bracket but there is the biggest issue is these two big holes here and hopefully by running the pipe round inside the seal that'll help close that up a bit and uh, minimize some of the water ingress. So let's get to it. should go in quite easily because it's only no that's not going to go in easily it's just binding so I think I'll definitely need to go and get some washing liquid all right so I actually went and found the bit of uh, 
16 mil irrigation hose that I had lying around in the garden and I've just put about 10, 12 inches, something like that in and tried it just to see if it'll take the bend radius and yes it does it actually is fitting quite well so that's it fully home in the seal so uh, I think I'm going to go and try the 16 although it was a tight fit into the um, into the door seal but I think once I get the old uh, fairy liquid on it I'll hopefully be able to run it in through all right, so here's a 16 mil irrigation hose, heavy duty plastic wall pipe. And here's the door seal. Now I just did, uh, I ran the garden hose through it just to wash out all the slugs and ants and lizards or whatever else was living in there as it was lying in the, lying in the soil in amongst all the weeds. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, fill up the, uh, Fill up the seal with some washing liquid just to act as a bit of a lube and then I'll run that down and see how we get on. We're almost there. I can see it. Well, maybe a foot or two to go. So I've got is that three, three and a half inches to go. Hooray! So we're through. I get a hold of that. So we've got it through. I just want to make sure I've got plenty excess so when I bend it. It's not going to go and disappear in or something like that. I can't get a hold of it. All right, so that's it through. A foot or so spare. Let me cut it. All right, here we go. One door seal. Let's go and fit it, hopefully. All right. So this is where the halfway point was previously. So I'm going to start there. And see how this goes. So I'll, I'll try and stretch the pipe through a bit so that it sinks back in and then I can put the other end of the pipe hopefully into the so I've got about a centimetre there I'll cut this open it up push it in Perfect. So now, as you see here, the door seal is sticking out quite a bit on the outside of the dome, on both, well, in all corners. So now if I close the door, so now we've got a near perfect seal along the door. So hopefully that'll be a, belt, a lot better. It's certainly a tighter fit. All right, so that seems to have been a bit of a success. So I'll call that a win. I'll just have to wait and see what happens with the rain now. So anyway, that's it, how to modify the door seal on the next dome, that was running a 16mm 
uh, irrigation black plastic pipe down the inside of it using a bit of fairy liquid for lubrication and uh, we'll call that one a wrap so thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one whenever that will be I'm just hoping for some clear skies so uh, take care all and uh, we'll catch you again